Is it a good time to buy rental property? We're gonna talk about that in this video coming up. All right, guys, is it a good idea to buy rental property? Well, I would say yes, it is a great idea. In fact, it is a, an amazing idea. Why? Because rental properties allow you to create passive income. And passive income is created by the overage of what we're able to charge in rent versus what we're paying out every month with all of the expenses on the property. So the property expenses, may be a mortgage there may be taxes there may be insurance could be PMI if you're if you're leveraging it could be maintenance it could be vacancy could be capital expenditures so let's just assume that we buy a rental property and our expenses on that property are $800 a month to own it well if we can buy that property and we can rent it out at let's say $1,200 a month the difference of 1200 and 800 is $400 so that $400 is what we refer to as cash flow the amount above and beyond what we have to pay to own that property well cash flow is passive income that is income that you don't have to trade time to earn that money for it is money that you can make regardless if you're even in town or if you are awake or asleep right that money is gonna keep coming in it's passive so rental properties are such an amazing investment because they create cash flow which is that again that passive income now now, another great reason why you should be looking to buy rental properties is because you can use leverage to buy them and you can use leverage in so many different ways to go about buying rental properties you can use leverage to buy them on the front with the harder private money you can use the leverage of general contractors to help fix up those properties as well as make repairs as needed you can use leverage with property managers and property management companies to help lease manage collect rent and evict if you have to go that route and then of course you can use use long-term lending options like local banks and credit unions to leverage the loan on the back side. Assuming you're using the Burr method, you could maybe even leverage a bank or a credit union on the front side if you're willing to put some money down to acquire that property. So should you be looking to buy rental property? The answer is yes. You've probably heard this statement before, but if you haven't, I'm going to enlighten you. Don't wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. That's the saying. The reason is, is the longer you're in a piece of real estate, the less likelihood you are going to have of losing money or even breaking even. The longer you own a rental property, the longer you've been collecting rent, the longer you've been making mortgage payments, you pay that property down over time. And if you have a 20 year or 25 year loan, well, after the 20 or 25 years, you shouldn't have any debt on that property anymore. So should you buy rental property? The answer is yes. In fact, as of the recording of this video, I have 92 rental units right now. Roughly 60 of those are single family homes and 32 of those are multifamily units. And each one of those properties or units generates anywhere from $200 to $500 a month in cash flow, creating the passive income. So this passive income, this cash flow will allow you to create financial freedom. Do you like trading time for money? Do you like that J-O-B? Maybe you are the boss. Maybe you have a small business and you're an entrepreneur, but you're still working 60, 80 hours a week. Well, how do you avoid that? How do you get out of that trap? Well, you buy rental property that pays you while you sleep or while you're on vacation so you can replace that time, right? Financial freedom and time freedom is what you're going to get by owning rentals. So my answer to that question, should I buy a rental property, is an astounding yes. Don't wait to do it. Do it right away and buy as many as you can. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Mm -hmm.